Hello, Pokemon Beta once again. This is New Permafrost, and today I'm bringing you a new battle against the infamous Zelmore Same. He is now a director on Pokemon Pit, and I thought, what better way than to get a battle with a great friend and a great battler? And as you can see from his team, the Braviary and uh, Ember I'm suspecting to be choice in some way. But then again, I have my Electivire, which is faster than either one of them if they choose to be Scarfed, because I have a Scarfed Electabuzz. Did I say Electivire before? If so, I'm sorry. But anyway, going to lead off with my Electabuzz, because I thought, best thing to lead with, going to go for a Thunderbolt, and uh, it's going to do well over half, so I know it's not a special defensive Soul Rock. It is a support one, so... That leads me to believe that it is defensive. He's going to switch out, go to his Ampharos to take it. I kind of knew the Ampharos was coming in, but then again, I thought he might just want to fodder out his Soul Rock at that point because it's kind of not the it's not the most useful thing on his team, so I thought he might just want to let it go down. But anyway, I have nothing to take this Ampharos Thunderbolt, and I knew that. So I'm just going to really send in Togetic for Death Fodder. I mean, Togetic is a really great Pokemon in NU. I've used him before. He works out fantastically if you have a spinner and you can use him right. But actually, I don't have a spinner. So, I just figured he's the weakest link on the team, so let him go down. So that's unfortunate. But now I'm going to go into my Kadabra. I thought he might want to switch out. After all, I don't have Hazards. He doesn't need to worry about that. But uh, he predicts me very well because, like I said, Zell fantastic player and uh, he knows I'm gonna go for the substitute so now I definitely know he's within range for my stab life orb psychic to take him out so that's exactly what I'm gonna do and Ampharos goes down but now he's gonna send in his Mantike which I'm gonna assume is uh, special defensive and he's gonna go for a scald he is gonna get the burn which is kind of annoying but at the same time I know he cannot stay in on my Electabuzz it is impossible for him to take one of my electric moves. At least I think it is. I didn't do any damage calcs. I, I never do. But, gonna go for the Volt Switch knowing that he's gonna switch out. Go into something that can possibly threaten the Parasect. I really didn't have too much that could actually threaten the Parasect. So I go back into my Kadabra. Now, I'm just gonna go for the Substitute thinking that he might want to switch. I mean, Parasect does not have the greatest special defense, and Kadabra does have relatively high special attack, but he does opt to stay in very smart. He goes for x pre predicting my substitute, and at this point I'm not in a good situation, so I'm just going to go for the Psychic, get as much damage on that Parasect as possible, and looking at that damage, I might have actually been able to take him out before all that leftovers and whatnot. But now his Parasect's at a relatively low amount of HP, and I'm going to send him my Fracture. And I know he's probably going to want to go for the Spore right away, so I'm going to go for the Taunt, predicting that. And that works perfectly, because here he's going to go for the Spore. Which leaves me room to set up, because this is a physical Pokemon. Parasect is physical, and his x won't be doing too much, because my Violite boosts my defense. And um, as you can see, this stab x isn't going to do quite a whole it's not going to do quite a lot so I'm going to go for the Dragon Claw next turn and I take him out but it's so annoying that he has effects poor and the one status that I did not want to have is sleep and that's the, exactly what happened so either way I'm asleep now there's nothing I can do he's going to go for the earthquake knowing if I want to switch out to my uh I don't know Electabuzz or something, he could hit it for some pretty good damage, but it's going to take two Earthquakes to take out my Fracture, and that is not good, but I do have my Vigoroth, and this is a defensive one with a Violite, and uh, I'm going to go for the bulk up on the obvious switch, and uh, he sends in his Soul Rock to burn me, I did not know that Soul Rock could learn Will-O-Wisp, but this next return, well, this next coming turn, this is crucial because on this return I get a critical hit and that really did matter. I'm, I'm pretty sure it mattered anyway. But uh, his Soul Rock's going to go down. He's not going to be able to get the burn and now he's going to send in his uh, Embor. I'm pretty sure I could live a superpower now that with the Violite plus a bulk up. So I'm pretty much at plus two defenses and uh, I do survive and I'm going to go for a slack off which is great. Most of these Vigoroth sets actually carry like the Sucker Punch specifically for things like Soul Rock or Psychic types that come in that might be faster and could hit him for some super effective damage. 
but I do slack off, get all my HP back. He knows that his superpower is going to be doing jack shit to me now. And uh, now I'm just going to go for a return on this Mantike. And he is just barely going to live. I'm going to get a Toxic off. So the Aviolite really helped his Mantike in this situation. He's going to get the Toxic off, which really is a problem for my Vigoroth sweep. I'm going to just go for another return, take out his Mantike, so that's two Pokemon down for this Vigoroth. He's going to send in the Braviary, obviously faster than me, but he's going to go for a stab, not a stab superpower, it's an, <laughs> that's my mistake, excuse me. Uh, he's, just, he's just going to go for a superpower, and since it's not stab, it's not going to take me out, and I'm just going to go for another slack off, recover off the damage, but at this point Toxic is going to be doing a hell of a lot and I think I'm going to just need to switch. And I do, I go out into my Garbodor, which was not able to get up my Hazards, but it doesn't really matter because he Hazards wouldn't have hurt his team too much, but this next superpower is not going to do anything. Now he's sitting at minus two attack and defense, and he's stuck into a move that is not very effective against me. So he has to switch out. He's going to go into his Embor, and on the switch, I'm going to go for a gun shot. It unfortunately misses, but at this point, it's still it's still all good. He's going to go for a flare blitz. It's not going to quite take me out, but I am going to be able to get a gun shot off. Uh, Recoil is going to do a good chunk out of him, like one six or something. And I am going to hit this gunk shot. It is stab. It's a very, very, very powerful move. And it's going to take him down to having about a fourth or fifth of his HP left. He's going to go into his Braviary. I'm going to hit him with a gunk shot. And like I said, this is a stab. Very powerful move. It doesn't even matter that I don't have any investment in attack. It's still going to do a huge chunk to the Braviary. So now he's going to take me out with the Brave Bird. doesn't matter to me too much because I do have a Pokemon that is faster than him. And I am so glad I kept my Electabuzz alive. Because now I know that I'm much faster than both of the things he has left. And I will be able to take out his Pokemon. So Braviary goes down. And now all he has left is the Embor. So at this point... It was pretty much good game because, like I said, his he has a scarfed Embor, but my Electabuzz is still much faster than him, even if he is scarfed. So, with this last Thunderbolt, that is a good game. So, great game, Zell. Always appreciate battling him. Great player. Go check out his channel, definitely. He's definitely worth your time. Um, and on that note, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I'd much appreciate it. Uh, drop some comments. Uh, like the video, of course, and... Also, of course, if you're not subscribed to Pokemon Pit Beta, subscribe here as well. So, uh, until next time, peace. See you later.